This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. So this past week saw more leaks surrounding the LG G4, and it's getting me pretty excited because these leaks are directly from LG, and they are working hard to differentiate, proving that we all reap the fruit that we sow. So LG has made it official. April 28th will be the big day where they announce the LG G4. And they gave us some details on this new phone. Let's start with the camera. The G4 will pack a 16 megapixel sensor up from the G3's 13 megapixel offering, along with the world's quote, widest aperture camera developed for a smartphone. Its f1.8 aperture means that the G4's camera will be able to take in 80% more light than its predecessor, the G3 which given how good the G3's camera was, it makes us pretty excited. There are a number of benefits to this wider aperture, the main one being the increased detail picked up in low light conditions, thanks to the extra light that it's received through the camera module. Now let's talk the G4's new UX. UX 4.0 boasts two new main features, a manual mode for the handset's camera and improvements for its smart notice application. As you can see here in the image, LG's latest UI is indeed a more vibrant, flattened version of its previous software, with material design inspired pastel colors dictating the look. And regarding the UX, CEO Junior Chow said this, LG UX 4.0 offers simpler, faster, and more intuitive ways to use the G4 with both new and improved features that intelligently accommodate each individual user. Now for you HTC fans who long for a fingerprint scanner, you want to look at the HTC One M9 Plus. Last week, HTC introduced the newest member of the One family, the M9 Plus, a larger M9 lookalike with a couple of key differentiating features. The One M9 Plus features a 5.2 inch quad HD LCD display, that's 2560 times 1440, and not 5.5 inches as some rumors have suggested. This makes it HTC's second quad HD device after the 5.5 inch one E9 Plus, which was released just last week and technically superior to the full HD M9. Inside, the M9 Plus features a 64-bit MediaTek Helio X10 processor with eight Cortex-A53 cores running at up to 2.2 GHz and integrated LTE, as well as 3 GB of RAM. Now design-wise, the M9 Plus is very similar to the One M9, featuring the same two-tone silver golden paint job and similar styling. However, it will be easy to spot the M9 Plus out, thanks to the two distinctive elements, the fingerprint scanner on the front and the dual camera on the back. The fingerprint sensor is touch-based, not swiping, though its positioning, and especially its Samsung-style appearance, is a bit questionable. The duo camera on the back is comprised of a 20 megapixel main shooter, along with a secondary depth sensor, just like the last year's M8. Also like on the M8, the main camera is rounded, which arguably looks better than the square style on the M9. The front shooter remains a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera. Now no word yet from HTC about pricing and availability, but some believe that the HTC M9 Plus might be exclusive to China. Now with all the hoopla surrounding the S6 Edge bend test and drop test, Samsung has now provided us with an inboxing. The team at Samsung Tomorrow seems bent on taking the jobs of us tech bloggers and YouTubers by releasing a sort of reverse teardown or unboxing video showing how the 6 Edge can be assembled by hand. To be clear, this isn't a full assembly guide. The operations are sped up and some steps are missing completely, like the crucial gluing that adheres the display to the battery. With that said, it's a great look at what goes inside and a reminder about the huge amount of complex work that goes into fabricating our beloved devices. For a more technical look into the innards of the S6 Edge, see the iFixit teardown. Now good news for those of you who have an iPhone, but have your eye on an Android Wear smartwatch. The Verge is now suggesting that Google is close to finishing an Android Wear app that would be compatible with an iPhone. At this stage of development, Android Wear on iPhone supports notifications and Google Now, including cards and voice actions. But by its release, it's also expected to bring advanced integration with Google's own applications, including the ability to reply to a message. Now, Apple may or may not approve such an app in the App Store, but a rejection by Apple isn't likely to deter third-party developers who have already successfully, sort of, got Android Wear working on the iPhone. 
and an official support from Google would only make the process easier. I was just thunderstruck with a new domain name idea. Don't be cute, eat the fruit.com. When you buy domain names from domain.com, you immediately get the power to control what people find when they search for you online. And no domain name extensions tell your story with the same amount of trust like it does with a .com or a .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence, and who doesn't want more credibility? And you can also save 15% on your domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Edward Army. My name is Jace. Please connect with me right here on Google Plus or Twitter, or in the comments I read as many as I can. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the tech engine, Kevin Lund, and Chris, Gary, and Ashley Taylor, all working super hard to be your source for all things Android. Mm. So you stayed for this? All right. Think of this as a public service announcement. Late last night, I was up surfing the web, trying to figure out how to grow my hair. And I came upon a life hacker article written by our own Joe Hindi, where he lauds the many virtues of what he calls the king of fruit, durian fruit. It's healthy, he says. It tastes great, he says. What he forgot to say is it smells like a steaming hot pile of horseshoe. Think I'm exaggerating? This is real people trying to eat during fruit. <laughs> no, don't do yeah. that. It's <laughs> horrible. Why would Joe Hindi do this? Because he's trying to kill you and me with fruit. If you would like to see justice be done and see Joe Hindi eat the fruit, please join me in sending him the hashtag don't be cute, eat the fruit. That's right, I'm demanding that Joe Hindi on video eat durian fruit for us all to enjoy. Go forth, Android Army, make it so. <laughs>